I want to call her round pen. <laughs> you don't like that one? That's not the one you wanted? It was in your way? I listened to Rick's video where he's like, Lester shouldn't have moved out of the way. I'm rubbing your Playboy bunny, okay? Lester shouldn't have moved out of the way. He should have made himself big and let her know that she didn't have the power to make him move. And I just did it. You might be asking, Jamie, why are you walking out of Tractor Supply with two spanky sticks? Well, you're about to find out. My car was so clean and it rained exactly 12 raindrops on the way here. And now look, apparently it wasn't as clean as I thought it was. It just looked clean because the dirt didn't have splatters. Anyway, I went to Tractor Supply. Let's ignore, we're not gonna talk about that. But we are going to talk about is the fact that I bought a few things for my little Rita. Can you read that? Lunge line to go with my spanky stick, which isn't really a spanky stick, okay? She's gonna look so pretty. And then I got two halters that are two different sizes because I think she's actually in between. And then I got her some new buckets. Mm -hmm. We're getting fancy. We're gonna remodel her room, <laughs> which is so awesome. Uh, this hook is not actually gonna be for tech. It's actually gonna be to hold these buckets. <clears throat> I bought two of those and I bought a hay net. So today's project is probably gonna involve Lester and he doesn't even know it yet. <laughs> and uh, like I said, we're just not gonna talk about these. These are just, they just happened to jump in my car. I don't know what, I don't know what happened. But what I really wanna do first before we remodel uh, Rita's room is I want to put her halter on her and I want to try to lunge her. Now, I am not a lunge expert. In fact, I didn't even plan on doing this today, so I'm actually inappropriately dressed. But, but, step one, first of all, will be to get the halter on her and to walk her out with a lead rope attached and see how that goes. And then from there, I don't have big plans of videoing this event. Ooh, it's thundering as well. That's awesome, that's awesome. If this gets interrupted by rain, it's totally fine. I don't have big plans of videoing me lunging her or going through those steps of like, oh, let's take a video of everything we're doing and walk with her plus the camera, all those things. I actually have a vision that I want to work with her one-on-one -on -one and walk with her one-on-one -on -one without you. So if Lester happens to capture this on video, then he does. But for me, what Rita I think needs is direct communication and that's not just verbal cues. And the spanky stick is never, it is not to actually touch her with this at all. This is to touch the ground and apply pressure. I learned a lot from working with Voodoo and Dixie and watching Courtney and Ashley teach me and watching Rick videos. So I am not perfect at this, but I do know that lunging a horse and round work, pen, like round pen work is critical to Rita. We don't have a round pen at this time, that's that's coming next. Lester doesn't know that yet. I kind of just ordered one and thought I would beg for forgiveness later. So uh, today though, I just wanna get her out to the front yard, walk with her and see what happens. And then we're gonna kind of go from there. So step one, halter. So as soon as I got done making that video, the sky opened up and it was awesome because for the last 45 minutes, it came with a beautiful rain that cooled the afternoon off by about 10 degrees. And it looks like Rita and Dan hung out together in the rain and I'm a Jean. This new camera I have not quite mastered yet on the zoom. It does very weird focusing things that I need to figure out. Oh boy, looks like the rain put a little spunk and even in donkey dan's step so this could be an interesting piece here i don't know what reed is going to do to me when i walk up to her uh, 
but we'll see. I'm watching the ground as I walk because A, I'm in flip-flops, but B, I'm terrified that the snakes have come out now. I don't know why. This isn't a very snaky pasture or anything, but I guess that I'm thinking like, ooh, maybe they wanted a drink and they're gonna come out for a cool off too, but it's paranoia. Let's be honest here. Hi, Rita, beauty, beauty, beautiful. Hi, Danny boy. Hi, I'm, what are you doing out there? They ousted you? You're just watching from afar, keeping your distance from this crazy girl? Is that what's going on? Hi, sweetie, how are you? Hi, pretty. Thank you. Hi. So the reason that she stopped like that is I got bigger than her. So I listened to Rick's video where he's like, Lester shouldn't have moved out of the way. I'm rubbing your Playboy bunny, okay? Lester shouldn't have moved out of the way. He should have made himself big and let her know that she didn't have the power to make him move. And I just did it. And if you noticed, it worked. So all that talk about putting the camera down, uh, I'm gonna do that now. But that was pretty cool to watch. She came to greet me. She tried to show me that she was gonna move me out of my out of the way. And all I did was raise my hand taller than her. And she stopped in her tracks. It was pretty remarkable actually. No yelling needed. Nothing physical towards her. Just that she wasn't gonna make me move. I like this. No, I don't like the power over her. I like the fact that it worked and it was such a minimal thing. All right, put my phone away for a bit, y'all. Well, that is the small and it is a little bit big on her and it's on the tightest piece. And the one that's on the ground is made for a colt. And I have a feeling on the biggest piece, it's gonna be too small. We're kind of in between. This one's not terrible. I'm gonna just leave it on her for right now. That's a good girl. And um, see how she does here in the next steps. So <clears throat> the next things that I wanna do is go get a lead rope and lead her to where I want to call her round pen. <laughs> you don't like that one? That's not the one you wanted? It was in your way? Okay, that sounds good. I'm not gonna dip down in front of you to grab that because I think that you'll think that is my weakness for not watching you. I've been paying attention to people. I really have. Mm-hmm. No, ma'am. Mo, well, you don't like it, huh? When you're told what to do? Well, she looks flashy with that and it is too big. Hey, you're gonna get hurt. Yes, exactly. Okay. I do have some boots that are still on the porch here. I'm gonna go grab, uh-huh. I see what you did there. She just laughed at me. Listen, I came out here for very few things. I wanna do small things with you. Mm-hmm. So that's what we're gonna work on, small things. But I would like to get a lead rope and walk her up after I get the appropriate shoes on and just see what she's got in her. 